Hey, hi, and hello there once again. Quern here, playing Ruined King, a League of Legends story. Go ahead and get it started. 74% complete. Like 30 hours into the game. We're mobbing. We're mobbing. Uh, not exactly sure what's coming up next, but I know we just made progress with Yasuo's little island thing. Wind... Wind Drake Isle. Is it Wind Drake or is it Wind Rake? Who knows? Anyway. We're just gonna hop right into it. I don't even remember what's next. Hold on. Return to Bilgewater. Got it. Um do we go fishing? Do we do our do we do our fishing that we plan to do? Ground port. Calm waters. Angler's Envy. Uh. Yeah, let's check out Angler's Envy. Let's let's open ourselves up with a little bit of a little bit of ease. Don't need to get too crazy. Wait, hold on. Okay, this guy ignored me. Hey, let's go. Give me the fish. Easy. Ooh, a small eel. Hold on. Do we have any upgrades? We do. Kraken's Bane. Tasty bait. All right. Now we're fishing. Now, we are fishing. We're fishing. I think. Oh yeah. Oh, they're they're taking the bait. They're they're going crazy for it. Okay, this one was kind of easy. Not bad. We might be casting our line a little too far. That's okay. Get this one that's really far out. And then all the other ones are close up, so that's easy enough for us. All right. We got a waterlock chest. only level 18 though so it's probably trash hey okay yeah we might be a little over leveled for this particular fishing hole not so bad not so bad being a little over leveled oh baby we are we're going crazy with the fishing oh my god yeah we're we're a little we're above this fishing hole's pay grade, to say the least. That's all right. Okay, pull it in, pull it in, pull it in. With these fish, we can secure more black marks. And with those marks, we can, uh, I, you know, buy more stuff with it. I don't really know. It's a little weird. They have to have a secondary currency in the game in order to egg you on the fishing. And this isn't like the worst fishing mini game I've ever experienced. I played WoW uh, for long enough that, <laughs> you know, it doesn't get much worse than that. I'm just sitting there for hours trying to skill up. For what purpose? Who knows? But yeah, we can pretty much clear out this fishing hole. Clear out the next one. I think there's only a couple fishing holes that we actually missed. Still kind of on the fence if I want to, like, 
100% complete every single thing that this game has to offer. Kind of do. Kind of want to make sure that I got all, like, the story beats and major story content more than anything else. Is that all the fish? Looks like it's all the fish. I don't see any more. All right, good deal. Let's get out of here. So we need to return to Bilgewater Herber. And some story stuff is going to happen. Welcome back to Bilgewater, Gangplank. My Bilgewater. I bet this wasn't the homecoming you were dreaming of. Fortune, I'm not the same man whose ship you sank all those years ago. My pride is gone. Only my destiny remains. If I have to arrive in chains, so be it. I still have friends in the city. I'll be on the throne again soon. You know what your problem is? Those old friends of yours. Most of them work for me now. And they like it better that way. Oh, Fortune. They don't respect a peacemaker. Everyone's just waiting for the right moment to stick a blade in your back. <laughs> Lock him up, Raffin. Some cell where the tide leaks in and the sun can't reach. I'll be seeing you, Fortune. Sure you will. At the execution. You should let me go kill him now. Nobody will believe he's dead unless I do it in public myself. But that will have to wait until after Bilgewater survives the Ruined King. I will go to my people. They may be able to help. Is the gang splitting up? Maybe not. helped us before, I failed to stop this heroine. An ancient king has risen with a heart full of rage. And you have come to make another request of me. Yes. We have a powerful amulet that can contain the king, but he has corrupted it. I doubt we could repair it here in Bilgewater. Our temples do not have the strength to purify an evil like that. Could I bring it to the Buru capital? I cannot permit that. Such an artifact could bring the king's rage down upon our people too. It may be safer to evacuate Bilgewater than to save it. But Elder, I know of another place sacred to Nagakaboros. When we were in the Purification Temple, I learned about an ancient Buru forge in the Shadow Isles. What is this forge? A place of power like that could purify the amulet. You have not heard of it because it is forbidden. It was abandoned by our ancestors. You granted me the help of the serpent, Colas, but this forge is too much. We have no records of its location. That place is loathsome to Nagakaburos. Elder, since I left Bilgewater, I have prayed for another vision, but she has been silent. Her teachings, my old assumptions, everything is clouded and strange. But I think the goddess wants me to challenge these things, to go to forbidden places and dig up forgotten truths. She is testing me, and I will serve her by making difficult decisions and trusting my own judgment. I will find this forge, purify this amulet, and trap the ruined king. No ancient warrior can stop me. Okay, let's go. I like the sound of that. Yeah, we're just getting a lot of story beats here. I figured this first part would be like this.
All right, Raffin. Do your men need anything else? We're set, Captain. The crews are distributing supplies. This city has weathered a harrowing before. We can do it again. Hilawi, welcome to the war room. I have never been in one before. <laughs> what did your elders say? Will they help us cleanse the amulet? They cannot. What? Why? There is no ritual site in Bilgewater strong enough to do it. We could use the Buru Forge instead, but it is forbidden. They will not tell me where it is. The forge you read about, it's on the Shadow Isles. How do we even find a place like that? Necrit. He would know. Yes. That old spirit would know every inch of his domain. We should pay him another visit. But this forbidden place, how forbidden is forbidden? I do not know, nor do I care. Nagakoboros loves change and motion, so we shall challenge this ancient warning, bring some motion to a dusty forgotten place. On a mission like this, I am honored to have you all by my side. Let us prepare ourselves for another journey, then forge a weapon to defeat the ruined king. All right, to the Riot Forge. forge. You lead well. Or the Buru Forge. I thought you didn't like captains, leaders, the whole concept. The people of Bilgewater. You won't leave them to drown. Some would cut the rope. Let the weak sink to the bottom. But I won't. So what? You gonna take me off that list of yours? I hope. You're at the end. There are many more deserving necks between the ruined king and you. Oh, you wanna kill me last. That's sweet. It isn't sweet. But thank you, Pike. You and I, we've got more in common than I thought. After this whole thing is over, maybe we can make an arrangement. <laughs> I think not. You're still Captain Fortune. <laughs> Come on, man. Have a little wiggle room, Pike. You're friends now, kind of. Almost. As close as you could be. Where is she? My love is near. I can feel her crying out to me. Talk to Necrit about cleansing the amulet. You got it. I'm sure I've looted everything here, right? Can I not loot this? Right, what's in here? I can't. Son of a bitch. Portion. What appears to be blueprints? What appears? Ripped portion of Abigail's blueprints? Wait a minute. When was I supposed to collect that? Whatever, 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 whatever. We're doing great. We have to cleanse the amulet. Very important. Check the map. We've already looted everything here. Fairly certain. And we'll just get on out of here. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? We have to take this down. Where, where is Yasuo's health? What happened? Oh. 
map. Yeah, we get out of here. Don't need to go to the watchtower. We go to the slums market first. See if there's anything extra that we might be able to pick up now. They're afraid of me, as they should be. Oh, there's some stuff over here we haven't picked up. Get out of my way. Keep running. I want to bump. God damn it! No one will stand in my way. What do you mean, flea failed? All right, hold on. Combat speed. Destroy. Him. Wait. What do you mean, fleeing failed? <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. All right, map. We ain't going to Baron's Rest. That is, uh, that is not our goal. Riding up this slow elevator. Very interesting elevator system that they have here. I would be terrified to ride it. We go in here. Doors locked. Of course it is. Nice. Wait. Can we talk to him with Ari? Watch him play for a while. Do, 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 do. Afternoon, miss. Like the song? I find it charming. Something about your eyes. Feels like you're the one enchanting me, and I'm the musician. Tell me a secret. I used to put fish in my brother's shoes when we were kids. Hey! Wait, how'd you do that? You have your instruments to speak to the heart? I have mine. I see a performance of yours any day, mysterious lady. Huh? What's going on up here? Uh, can't believe I haven't looted that yet. Well, this is just the, the thing, thing to get around. What are we missing here? Just a bunch of things to shop and see. Uh, region map? Where are we trying to go? We need to get to the... Slum smart? Oh, that's where we are. Uh... Docks Harbor... We do need to get to the fishmonger guy, and I still haven't looted that box? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, we need to get to the docks harbor. Give me to the bilgewater harbor. Need to get to the harbor. Oh, oh, hitting stuff, hitting the wall, hitting the wall. Yep. What's down here? I feel like there's, a, there's this guy. This guy? What's going on here? Buy rumors. What do you got for me? Give me, give me, give me, give me. Yep. Wait, there was the there was a thing at the at the um in the Buru Grotto that I could sacrifice on behalf of Alawi. But I think I need to trade her in. Oh, ready to claim? Haha, <laughs> thanks. Rasa the Sunderer? Uh I've seen this guy in uh Legends of Runeterra. He didn't he didn't look like that. But hey. Commander Ladros, okay, Commander Ladros. I've seen this guy in Legends of Runeterra. <laughs> he does, he did kind of look like that. And the Hole Breaker, awesome. Wait, Legendary Amulet. That looks like it's probably good. New bounties added. You love to see it. Let's head to the Buru Grotto. Well, well let's trade in Alawi real quick. 
Lowey for Ari, and then we're heading over to the Buru Grotto. She's party members. Um, boom, 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 boom. Good deal. Never mind. Because we had that one thing that we could throw over the side. I do remember that much. And to offer as tribute to the... The what you call it? To Nagakaburus. Right? Right. Probably. I hope I'm remembering correctly, because if I'm doing all this for nothing, it's going to be embarrassing. Wait. Allow me, please, a moment of your time? What do you want? Okay. With all the chaos surrounding us, the opportunist Naga have decided to show its invade fathoms Pharos, he says... The temple where the scroll containing the Hymn of Heavenly Motion is stored has been breached by the beasts. Why don't other Buru push the Naga back? They most certainly would, except all the able have been called away to stop the harrowing from spreading. The priests and priestesses are channeling and praying. There's no one left to help the temple, since we are so stretched thin, he says. Is the scroll just laying around in the open? Thankfully, no. Uh, it is in the inner chamber, hidden from the beasts under a locking mechanism, but I fear it is only a matter of time before they figure out how to access it. We will retrieve it. Where is the temple? Thank Nagakaburos, our temple demands action, and I see my efforts have been smiled upon. Here, you can access it with your ship. It is the Fathoms Faros Temple. Let me mark it on your map. Thank you. I think I was paying attention. Okay. Hello. You've chosen your own path. I still believe the goddess guides you. We should just be a Lowy for this. Alright. Let's go, uh, let's go make an offering. Make an offering, eh? What are you guys looking at? We're moving as fast as we can. We're zooming. Zooming through. Take me up. All right. I don't know if I'd say that the uh, the elevator system here is perfectly practical, but who am I to judge a fantasy settings um, world design when it's actually really good? I actually really like the overall world design. Um, I forgot how to get around this area. <laughs> This is, uh, this is a little tough. I uh, don't fully remember where to go, but that's fine. I think I got it. Yeah, I think I figured it out. All right. Let us make an offer. Offer a tithing. Ulani's Tidal Orb. Lowie offers a silent prayer and tosses the tidal orb over the edge. After a moment, the water churns. The shadowy idol is returned to her. Hey, let's go. What is it? Equipment. Shadow tide idol. Yo, that's pretty good. It's lit. All right. Good deal. That was worth it. Let's head on back. I'm trying to think, like, do I have other, like, random objectives? Quest log. Here we go. Active quest. There's literally only one? You, that's, you're going to tell me that there's literally only one? Okay. That's main quest. Active side quests. Holy cow. There's so many. Find the lost idol of Nagakaburus. Uh, well. Wait, I can only track max five. Hmm. Interesting. 
Well, we will do side quests at some point, I'm sure. Uh, well, there's a lot of stuff that we just come across naturally as we explore. So hopefully, hopefully, that ends up being how we complete a lot of the side quests. I'm going to hope that that is the, that is the case. Until then, we're doing pretty decent. We got a squad. We're rolling up. I think we were going to stick with our Brom Ari Yasuo comp for a little bit. Just because uh, I haven't really played with them all that much. I've been doing a lot of Brom Malawi and then just having some sort of damage carry. Seems like that's the meta. <laughs> Not really having a hard time getting through the game with that setup, <clears throat> but yeah, we'll try and uh, we'll try and get maybe a little different with it. But at the same time, I don't know. The city is such a mess. You're telling me, dude. You're telling me. Let's see. Well, why don't we pull up the quest log? Uh, we need to unlock their power. Right. Return to Phileas? Oh yeah. So where where is this one? Just kill powerful mist walkers. Okay. Well, we don't really need to track that uh gray harbor so we'll go to gray harbor this one where is it it is it's in baron's rest okay wait hold on quest log pull it up again all right and then the token so we need to go to Gray Harbor for two things, and then the token of purity? Where's that gonna be? What are you talking about? Oh my god. Where is it? <laughs> we are going to have to check out the Purification Temple. And we're gonna have to do some searching. That's rough. That is rough. <laughs> oh, we should be fine, though. Well, that's if we want to... That's if we want to boost Brom, which I want to get my boy Brom pretty strong. First, we're going to head over to, at like, the Grey Harbor, which map... Grey Harbor? Where are we going? Where are we going? Maybe we just hop on the ship and head over there. I'm figuring it out. We're doing great. Take me over to Grey Harbor. I heard there's some shit going on. Watchtower, Plums Market, Jagged Hooks Warehouse. Which one of these is for? Okay, hold on. Region map. There we go. Which one's Grey Harbor? I'm already as close as I'm going to get. Head on over to Grey Hob. And get this. Whatever this is. Alright. So this is going to be a bit of a walk. Hopefully that'll be able to go that way and it isn't like a one-way street. Oh, we're fine. Okay. Uh, wrong way. Wrong buttons. I'm going crazy. I'm losing it. Gray hob. And I think that's where we do a couple of things, right? 
Oh well. I'm picking up what I need to be putting down. This is the crew that you originally roll with when you go to Grey Harbor. So fitting that we do a little revisit. Also, I'm pretty sure that we'll just be way over leveled of everything here, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Map. We go down. Straight forward. Through the office. Stay to the bottom side. Straight forward. Okay. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Get out of my way. You son of a bitch. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. You fled the battle. I don't care. Get these things away from me. I got better things to do than to be messing with you. Get out of my way. Don't run into me. You guys are annoying me. Yeah, just run. Get out of my way. Thank you. Much appreciated. Alright. Where'd they keep the blueprints? You there, boy. What do we have here, boys? Someone trying to take loot from the looters. Want this blueprint? You're going to have to pry it from my cold, dead hands. Or more likely, I'll claw something valuable out of yours. People know better than to talk to me that way. Those still alive anyway. Get them! Alright, we're in a fight. Oh, this is going to be easy, actually. Alright, Brom. Taunt him. Or, how much do I care? Let's just do quick strikes. Yeah. Um, quick strike. Never get so. Bury me in sea. This makes me smile. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't even stressing. Not even a little bit. Captain Floon, your, your time is numbered. All right, I need. What we got next? Yeah, just you kill him. Run. You should have run. Yeah, yeah. You're done. Next time, stay out of my way. Outmatched. Got a money bags achievement off of that. Let's go. Okay. Typical all bark and no bite. Ah, what do we have here? Some sort of cannon blueprint. By the looks of it, this thing could fire from here halfway to the mainland. Find a blacksmith to build this thing. Give the cannon blueprints to Bilgewater's blacksmith. Nice. Anything else in this room? Doesn't look like it. Looks like we did everything we set out to do. Now we just gotta find where the heck we take this. Yeah, run away! Out of my way. I got places to be. All right, hold on. For Alawi's thing. Cannon. Where's it gonna have me go? Uh, what? Okay, okay. So, this is the drowned port, I believe? Is that where it is? Drowned port? Yeah, yeah, Drowned Port. But why would the Bilgewater's blacksmith be in the Drowned Port? Oh, okay, whatever. Lost Saddle of Nagakaburus? It's Baron's Rest. Is that one place that I specifically did not go to. But okay. And yeah, Brahms thing, we gotta go into a whole ass temple. Can you guys not? Thank you. Only kind of being a pain in my ass here. Wait, was this the right way? <laughs> I think so. Run. Go away. Leave me alone. You dare double back. Map. Yeah, I got it. 
I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm doing great. Sort of a uh, busy work episode, but I kind of want to get this stuff and unlock it, man. It's cool. What up, y'all? I'm back. Just had to run a quick errand. What else do we got? Map. Toronto. Don't need to go to the stockade. Still can't get into the lighthouse, I'm pretty sure. So let's head over this way. Stop by Fishmonger and then go to, go to that. We got a line. We got a line. We found the angle. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm getting lost in the big city. Getting lost in the big city once again. Alright, here's where the fishmonger guy is. We sell him the stuff. What up, dude? Wait, what? Yeah. Trade fish! Only 12? That's it? I thought we had more than that. That feels bad. Browse wares. Fishmonger's secret. <laughs> Mechanical catching apparatus. That's just a spear gun. Okay. That's a lot of marks. Right now we only got 41. That doesn't feel like a lot. I feel like we should have more than that, but you know what? Whatever. I don't really have anything that I want to spend it on anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. Map. Can I go into this place yet? Oh, come on, man. Alright, so map. Go up to Fleet Streets. Then where do we go from there? Docks Harbor. Oh yeah, we gotta talk to this guy over here. Go up and across. Got it. You got it. Gotta make sure that I uh, do this quickly. Get back to the story. Of course, the most important part of this game. Do I, do I talk to this man? If I go through this door, it just leads me to some shit. So that's not what I want to do. I want to go down this. And we go through this door. Which should take me to the old man. Yo, what up, dude? What's your deal? Wait. Doesn't appear that he has anything worthwhile. Oh, wait. Some tomes of knowledge? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Buy one of each. Wait, but it's telling me I gotta talk to him? What, what am I talking to him for? What's the deal here? Need to go to Baron's Rest, though. Blue Streets wants someone to connect the dots. First building is mom and pop shop run by a two and nice event. Second is a recently purchased abandoned warehouse. Sounds but I already I already did this! I already did this. Yeah. A lot of stuff happening at Baron's Rest, so we need to go there. Currently hanging around the watchtower district. Whatever. Head to the warehouse. I've already, I've already done this one. Okay, whatever. Which way is Baron's Rest? I feel like I passed it ignorant to all the quests that I need be cl completing there. App. <clears throat> Probably connected to the slums market, right? 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 Right. Maybe I'm just lost. Lost in the big city. Scared. Enjoying the sights. Taking it in. 
Map. Ah, no. I'm going the correct way. I was worried about nothing. Door is locked. Okay, I was about to say, if that's Baron's Rest, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> it's not. It's not. This is quite obviously Baron's Rest. I don't even know what I was worrying about. We're doing fine. We're doing great. Making progress. Go ahead and head on in. A lot of people to talk to. Things to do. People to see. Friends to make. Probably. Hopefully. We'll see. Shady bar. Let's go. Let's make some freaking friends. What's going on with this guy? A woman smartly dressed looks out of place compared to her surroundings. Her food has barely been touched. I've been watching you since you walked in, she says. There's something about you I can't quite put my finger on. That might be what I'm looking for. Who are you? Give me my manners. Perhaps I've been in Bilgewater too long already. I'm Renee. She nods her head politely. Where are you from? Demacia. I admit I did not think to dress for my surroundings when I left for my trip. I hope that's not too off-putting, as I have an urgent matter I wish to confide. What are you looking for? An equitable and mutually beneficial resolution to a problem of mine, she says. But these surroundings are no place to discuss such a delicate subject. I suggest we adjourn to somewhere more private. The hallway in the back had a secluded seating area. Shall I expect you there? Need to know more before I agree to anything. Your curiosity is understandable and even expected, but unfortunately, for reasons that will become apparent later, I cannot get into details out here. We must speak in private. You have my assurance that this is nothing sinister. I accept your offer. Excellent, I'll head that way now. See you later, lady. Talk to you later. Okay, bit of a cutscene for her just walking somewhere. Cool, 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 cool. Who else we got here? What's your deal, bud? Right, right, okay. You. Slipped through my fingers. That's sad. I watched you go up, up, far into the sky. Knew I'd never see it again, ever. It's the first time that I felt like I could lose something the world wouldn't give it back to me. Yo, that's sad, bro. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. Making friends. Making friends. You there. Excuse me if you have a moment. Of course. The man waves you over. There's something about him that doesn't quite fit in with Bilgewater. But whatever it is, it's subtle. Continue. It is you. I've heard a great deal about you, he says. You cleansed Grey Harbor. Whenever dark forces encroach, it is our duty to stop it. It ruins the land, the land that would thank you, if you could hear it. I know much about you, but you know nothing about me. I am Mira. I've traveled here from Ionia. It's been a long, tiresome journey, he says. I'm unsure of how quickly word travels through these parts, but recently there was a ship headed to Ionia that encountered a kind of storm. As it were, it sunk. And sunk. Okay. Our story would end here if the cargo were still resting at the bottom of the sea, he says. There was a group from Bilgewater that was commissioned to retrieve the cargo from the depths. So-called salvage runners were able to recover the cargo and have stored it nearby. It's very important that the cargo never reaches Ionia, he says, with a sudden serious tone. I know you must have questions. I'm sorry for being so direct. And maybe I'm misguided in thinking this, but I feel as if I can trust you. But before I say more, I need to know, will you help me? Yes. My humblest appreciation for your assistance, he says, and gently press his hands together, together and nods almost like a bow. We've learned that the cargo is being held in a small warehouse near the market, hiding in plain sight. I've duplicated a key I lifted from one of the guards here, he says. Oh, so that must be the place where, with the key that I can go to. There will be many sets of containers, but you'll know the ones you're after because they have Noxian military markings on them. Yes, we are trying to stop Noxus from delivering a shipment to an Ionian outpost, he says. Take this. It is a Blossom Jewel. All you have to do is hold it up to the containers from Noxus, and it will nullify any weaponized alchemical agents within. Simple as that. Then quickly return here and let me know if it has been done, he says. Neutralize the cargo. 
I expect the salvage runners to keep guard of the warehouse, so be prepared for a confrontation. Regrettably, I would only get in the way of champions such as yourselves. Though I only expect the best of outcomes for you, he says. Just who are you? Your question is, your question really is, who from Ionia would know about tracking shipments from Noxus? Safe to say that I am a freedom fighter hoping to keep Ionia safe, but more than that, is necessary. It is unnecessary to divulge. I hope you understand, he says. Noxus, I thought their war with Ionia ended. It's true the war ended over a decade ago, but the Noxus presence still lingers on the outskirts of Ionia. Nothing is for certain, but there are groups that have watchful eyes about their contained pre continued presence, he says. That is all that needs to be said. What do you mean by a kind of storm sunk the ship? Ah, oh, well, let's just say a very isolated storm appeared suddenly and from nowhere and tore their sails in a matter of moments, he says, stifling a smile. Remembering that moment, <laughs> it was satisfying. Sounds like something Kennedy would do. He's kind of a storm guy. Yordle. How does this blossom jewel work? With some alchemical magic, he says with a clever smile, Noxian chemical agents are very dangerous, but with some simple alchemy, we're able to quickly convert them to harmless elements. Blossom's jewel energy does exactly that. How come you're not dressed as an Ionian? He laughs. You're... are you serious? Well, I'll humor you either way. I think I look less suspicious wearing this. How do you like Bilgewater? Bilgewater is worse than I thought it would be. There's no connection to the land. There's no harmony. It's just a city full of base animal instincts fighting for survival. Why would anyone willingly live here, he says, and shrugs his shoulder. We will do this and return to you. Oh, and don't forget these. Lovely. It's good to prevent bloodshed instead of causing it. Awesome. Good for me. What's this guy's deal? What's he, what's he doing? Oh, my house is made of sticks, and my boots is made of stone. My ships are made of grit, and my spears are made of bone. I ain't wrote a third verse, so you should just leave me alone. Love that guy. Nice. Killing it. Wait, what's over here? What's your deal? A woman sits at the table, staring into her drink. In her hand, she slowly turns a coin, which she immediately puts down and covers with her palm when she sees your approach. Huh. Hi there, she says. Tell me about yourself. Me, I'm just a passerby. My brother used to frequent the, this place. I thought I'd see what all the fuss was about. It has a nice atmosphere, she says, unconvincingly. What's the matter? Oh, excuse me, she laughs. I have a bit of a silly favor to ask. Past the door behind me, at the end of the hall, there's a man guarding a door. I'm curious to know what's behind that door. Or if there's a symbol on it. So sorry. I know it sounds silly. It is silly. But could you take a look for me? Why can't you look at yourself? I tried and her voice gets leaked. She clears her throat and collects herself. I tried to get close to make out what was behind the doorman, but he just shoved me away. I'm in no shape to talk to him. Sure, I can do that. I can help you out. She smiles. Thank you kindly, stranger. I thought I saw a symbol on the door, but I couldn't make it out. Hopefully you don't have to ask the doorman to move. I'm probably going to have to ask the doorman to move. If I had to guess. I really haven't been in here to do too much loot. The, the Crucible? Epic. Um, let's go talk to that lady that was up here, right? Over here? Through here? Come in! Oh, loot. Thank you. Through here. <gasps> let's chat. Wrong. Are you a troll? <laughs> I am not. <laughs> Trolls are, how you say, much bigger and more hell. But they're real? Of course they are. They even have a king. Oh. Little Trundle reference, eh? Er, I done fell over. Burp. Please don't let them see me like this. Are you the cleaning people? Do we have cleaning people here? One change of sheets, please. And don't ask me how they got soiled. Er, okay. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> he's, uh... He's struggling. Alright, what's in here? Yo, was, I should not just be busting into people's rooms. This is kind of fucked up. Hey! 
I rented this room because I think the guy next door is cute. Oh, I got bad news about him. I'm hoping to accidentally run into him in the hallway. Saw him doing pull-ups in his room one day and the door was open his arms. Oh, hope he doesn't leave before I get the chance to talk to him. <laughs> I got, yeah, he is fucked. <laughs> He he fell over. He's a clumsy guy, but you know if that's if that's the kind of guy you're into, I got no hate. Do your thing. Best of luck to you. Hello, ma'am. Thank you for meeting me here. Well, let's not dawdle. Duty is calling both of us. It seems. What did you want to see me about? I help manage a business in Demacia, and it appears a supply container of ours has gone missing. After some investigation, we have an idea about who the culprit might be as well as the method of their burglary. Why can't your people handle it? That's just the thing, the method. This plunderer uses portals to the spirit realm to enter and exit areas at his whim. Being a citizen of Demacia, such magics are strictly forbidden. Of course they are. We even know where he's storing our missing goods, but we can do nothing, but can do nothing. Even though we have a device that would allow us to recover it. Oh, the device is magical, so Demacians cannot use it. Exactly. Ever since the Ruin Wars, we've done our best to prevent that level of calamity from visiting again. They are... Yeah, I don't know. Our contacts have given us an ethereal lens. It detects weaknesses between this realm and the spirit realm, and reveals them. The thief took our product from the material realm and hid them in the spirit realm where we cannot access them. Can the lens be used anywhere? Unfortunately, no. The lens only lets you see places where the link between the spirit and material realm are strongest. So we use the lens, get the goods, then return. Yes, that would be the sum of it. Just carrying the lens is enough to be able to see parts where the spirit realm is close to the material realm where you couldn't before. It will definitely be worth your while. What do you say? I need to know more before I agree to anything. Happy to explain if I can. Employing others to use magic for you, isn't that still breaking the rules? Just traveling out here, talking to you, telling an outsider of our troubles, all these lengths are because of how important that package is. I take no satisfaction in employing magic. Of all the options we've explored, I found this to be the least offensive. But yes, I am breaking the rules, as you put it. But it brings me no pleasure. What makes you think the goods are here? We have our methods. To reveal them to you would compromise our security. You must understand. I assure you the package is where we think it is. What's the material realm? Spirit realm. I feel like I would know the answer to that. Material realm is this realm. What you see around you, where you live, the normal world you know. All of the world is the material realm. The spirit realm is layered on top of the material realm. It is everywhere and nowhere. It is a space between spaces. It is home to other beings as the material realm is home to us. That's the best I can explain it. Back. I will accept your offer. I'm delighted to hear that, she says. What you're looking for is a container, as simple as it sounds. But we've obvious but obviously it exists only in the spirit realm. We've tracked its location to near the captain's bar in the slaughter docks. Didn't you? I don't know what exactly you'll see when you're there but I've been assured it will be relatively easy to spot. Just having the ethereal lens will be enough to see what you need. Oh, I almost forgot to give it to you. She reaches for something in her bag. Thank you. Where is it again? I have some questions. I already asked that. All right, we leave. Awesome. Got a new thing. I love new things. All right, what's going on here? Yo. Having a little powwow? Ellery is mine. She told me how you mistreated her. My? She told me how you mistreated her. Boys, now, now, don't fight over me. A fight? Eh, sounds like a fun idea. Let's settle this. Okay, well... That dude really just took a gunshot. Oh, he took several gunshots. My love made me stronger. Come, Valerie, let us away. What have you got in your pockets? Yo, Valerie, what the hell? Only 20 coins, what a peasant? Yo, Bilgewater is fucked up. Uh, no, sorry, I'm not going with you. Why not? I just killed a man for you. I don't like to date violent men. Valerie, you made a fool of me. 
Yo, Bilgewater is fucked up. Which pocket has your coin bag? I don't want to get blood all over my hands searching you all over. Ha, ah, as if I'd tell you with my last breath. You were always my favorite. Left front pocket. Oh my god, dude. Whistles. What was that? <laughs> y'all are y'all are something else. Dudes out here really just This is a VIP room. Are you sure you're supposed to be here? Not to be insulting, but you look like you couldn't afford it. Go ahead and blame circumstances or the fates on for your misfortunes. We both know it worked a little harder, it'd be different for you. Okay, fuck off, dude. <laughs> Shut up. Are you sure you're not Lotlin? I'm pretty sure. I feel like I'd know if I had the blood of a party animal in my ancestry. I hear they're a fun tribe. Plus, they have your ears. Huh. Lowland party animals? Lore? Love that. Alright. Leave these jerks behind. Um, map. Yeah, we looted all that stuff. We head on this way. Uh, we didn't head over to Grifter's Corner. Kind of curious. I'm a little bit curious. Loot. Just requires a key. Ah, of course it does. All right, who's got the key? Who's got my key, huh? Who's got the key? Who's got the key? Give me the key. What's going on in the grifter's corner? That sounds exactly where I belong. What? Excuse me. What's in this dish you brought me? It's mariner stew. Like you ordered. Like I ordered, huh? This has shellfish in it. I said no shellfish. Get this out of my sight. Yo, it's gotta be hard to find not shellfish in here. Bilge water. A lot of shellfish. Bring me something good from the kitchen. How can he be so rude? Maybe he's got an allergy, you know? You gotta, gotta respect it. A man, shabbily dressed, sits alone at a table. He raises one eyebrow as you approach. I come here regular, but there's some comings and goings that remain a mystery to even me. What kind of mysteries? The kind that would fetch some coin on the market. I'm an observer of people. The information I have heard can do some damage in the wrong hands. Would ten coins do the trick? He eagerly takes the money. Ha, sucker. I would have confided my secrets for a fishbone, but it's too late now. <laughs> Just tell me already. The door behind is pretty strange. Never seen any tavern stuff coming through it. Just some individuals looking up to no good. I paid ten coins for that nonsense. But wait. There are exotic markings near the door handle. Two daggers crossed. What does it mean? I've never seen such markings elsewhere. And what's more, not only have I recently witnessed a gentleman over within arm's reach who has opened the door, but in possession he carries a key with likewise the symbol of the two daggers crossed. The guy that complained about the shellfish? Shh, don't act conspicuous. You'll reveal us both. My days of loitering will come to an end, he says in a loud whisper. But yes, that's him. I guess that's actually sort of useful. Gives you a wink. Spend your days wisely, mate, or else they'll spend you. Good deal, bro. A lot of people to talk to. I'll talk to that guy last. See that lady there? I think she's into me. Oh, that guy by the wall keeps staring at me. It's really creepy. Oh, gods, I was just looking the same time I was looking. I hope he doesn't take that as encouragement. We're just putting here, putting out the vibes. <laughs> she sat down after I was standing here. You get a better look. Flexes. Okay. Good luck, dude. Most ships are crewed by the unlucky folks, starving in the slums, unconscious in the bars. Gangplank ran the ship, build water, gold was for him, the rest was for us. Many love the sea, but only fools want to be sea dogs for reavers. Okay. Several bottles of varying size laid out carefully on the counter. 
A picture of a plunder crab, claws in the air, no oyster on both sides. Feeling weary, traveler. Why don't you pull up a seat and try a free sample of our seafarer's seltzer? Says the man on the table. What's in it? <laughs> ah, well, I'm glad you ask. Our drinks comes from sea creatures themselves. All sorts of types. Clams, oysters, plunder crabs, eels. We take a little of what makes them taste so great and mix it with some tonic. Essentially, it's a drink that tastes like fish. Um, that sounds disgusting. <laughs> Why in the world would you even consider making a fish flavored drink? Is this some sort of punishment? Some people may like that drink. Honestly, that's not a lie. Some people may like that. Some people are weird. Ah, another fan. Glad to see enthusiasm among potential customers, he says. Continue. What'll it be? Would you like to try a sample first? I would go to the punch and purchase bottle for consumption. Try a sample. Man pours a small amount from an already open bottle into a saucer the smell of fish is overpowering with no other flavor to balance it out as the drink slides down the taste not only remains it grows stronger well yes the drink is terrible we'll see what the market has to say about that let's purchase a bottle oh yes very good he says grabs an unopened bottle and hands it over that'll be five coins five coins we'll pay the money we'll pay the man thank you thank you for that Thank you for the seafarer's seltzer. I appreciate you. All right. A solitary diner sits at a large booth mumbling to himself. He notices you and speaks. I thought you were a damn waitress again. Don't sneak up on people like that, you little eel. Ask why he's so angry. He holds up his plate to you. Do you see the food? Do you see a juicy fresh fish here? Is there a gulper fish on my plate? I don't know. Maybe the hunger has blinded me, but I don't see any fish on my table. You come here hungry and you're basically hostage. Service has always been garbage. Buy the lady's beard. Why don't you like shellfish? Do you really want to know? He asks irate. I can go into great detail. Yes. <laughs> it's not that I don't enjoy shellfish. It's just that shellfish and I often find ourselves in disagreement. Starts with a rumble. But what comes next? It ain't pretty. Oh, he, yeah, he just... That's okay. That's understandable. I wouldn't like shellfish either if that was the case. Inspect the table. On the table is a key with a symbol of two cross daggers on it. What are you staring at? My empty plate? Why don't you take back that incompetent cook and shove it in front of his ugly damn face? Ask about the key. What the hell does that concern you? If I so much as see your hand lingering near that key at all, you'll have a bloody stump instead. By the lady's beard, he says. You notice a tattoo of cross daggers on the side of his neck and with the same symbol as the key on the table. Could I buy that key off you? One million coins? Yes, you can. Because I like you so much. I'll give you a fair price. <laughs> One million coins. I can't afford that. I see. Well, I think we're done here. One million coins? Alright. Well, I don't think that that's gonna be possible. I don't think we're ever finding one million coins. At least not anytime soon. Alright. Let's go ahead and pass through here, see what's going on over here by the crucible. Uh, sell? We got stuff to sell, right? Oh, I don't know if I need to equip these things yet. Yeah, there's quite a lot that I need to go through and see if I'm... But I can sell these. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get out of here! Chat? Someone's gonna stay open during the craziness. Might as well be me! Alright, let's leave. We got things to do, people to see, things to steal. Doors to inspect. Door to the bathroom. Sealed tight. What's through here? What do we got? Hey, it's a little stage. He's from a bot. Abroad, Noxie and Dessert are found. That's Riven. It's talking about Riven. I knew it. I knew it. Hey, uh, what's your deal? Look at the chat. 
A young man gets excited when he sees your approach. What's this? Well, if it ain't a hearty gang of adventurers seeking fortune, trying to make a name, the stories you could tell probably fuel a bard for a lifetime. Name's Tybald. Tybald Uckney. Pleasure, he says. You're a bard? Aren't you kind of young? I uh, yes. Well, I am a bard. Unproven, that is. I came to this city to learn. A port city must have all kinds of travelers and tales, but, well, Bilgewater isn't exactly full of friendly and helpful people now, is it? Not like back home, he says wistfully. One night I went to a tavern and saw a performer there and talked with him after. I thought I found a mentor, but instead all I found was a drunk. Took up money I had and even my instrument when I was indisposed. Chalk it up to experience, I guess, he says and shrugs. Maybe one day I'll make a tale out of it. Yes, an upside down night in at Bilgewater. No, no, that's terrible. He says and looks off at a wall. I want to help you become a better bard. You do? I wasn't trying to get you to pity me by telling you about me getting robbed. If you're wondering, but, well, with all that's gone wrong, I'll take what I can get. I've been hard at work as a ballad, uh, on a ballad. As, <clears throat> oh my gosh, my throat. Hold on, let me take a drink of something. Oh my gosh, I've been talking, talking, talking. <sighs> I've been hard at work on a ballad as of late until I got stuck. These feelings are there, but the words just won't come out. But I got a performance lined up here and at Baron's Rest, and I need to have something ready, he says. Unfortunately, I have no instrument to play. I wouldn't know where to even find one. Heard anyone playing lately? The market seems like a lively place. I'd check there. And one more thing that would be useful. A nice copy of some source material would make writing the damn ballad a whole lot easier. Don't let any poet tell you we're original. We're all con artists of, of a sort, he says and smiles nervously. A good story to serve as a base for my ballad. It could really be the key ingredient. I don't think the average vendor in Bilgewater would carry such a thing, but... More individualized selections out of the commoner's eye. They might have something. Continue. Thank you kindly for agreeing to help. You have your tasks and I have mine. I'll sit here figuring out this ballad out. Once my quill connects to my heart, the words will flow freely, he says. Why don't you track the guy down that took your stuff? I tried, believe me. I tried. He says, <laughs> he says, and lets out a long sigh. Apparently, I'm not the first one. He's hoodwinked. He does it when he's about to ship out to sea. There's no telling where or when he'll wash ashore. And in any case, I'm a lover, not a fighter. I'm a bard, he says. Remind me of what I'm supposed to do. So we're just gonna hang so you're just gonna hang out here all day? What a better place than the Baron's Rest to soak in the atmosphere of adventure. Travelers from all over come here, he says. This is where I wanna be. I can feel it in the salty air and the wooden stall walls. Remind me of what I'm supposed to do. Been hard at work at the ballad as of late until I got stuck. These feelings, uh, I got a performance lined up at the Baron's Rest and need to have something ready. Okay. Okay. I already know. I already know. We'll be back with those things. Uh, what's your deal? See a janitor sweeping an empty room. No shows today. Check back later, he says, and goes back to sweeping. Something awful happened to the last singer here. Don't even want to think about it. People perform here? I, uh, I. this is the stage here. He motions behind him. Can't say it's much, but at least it's something. Leave. Lovely. Another mission. How fun. Loving the side missions, but holy cow, there's so many I gotta do. Hey, what's up, dude? Move along, stranger. No. A burly, surly man stands in front of the door at the end of the hall. Yeah? What do you want? What's behind the door? None of your damn business is what. Why don't you turn around and forget you ever came here? Inspect the door. You see a crude picture of an octopus holding a sword behind its head. The doorman notices you looking intently at the door. You got a couple seconds to leave before I cave your head and leave. Okay. Hey, we helped. Hey, we, we inspected the thing. You're welcome. Did you find anything? It looked like an octopus with a sword. Her eyes widen. It, it is. Did it look like this? She holds up the coin that was under her palm. It's a smaller version of the exact same symbol on the door. Yeah, like that. She exhales. Well, that solves it then. 
What's that picture mean? I don't know. I asked around about it, and eventually that just led me here. It matches that door. I don't even really know what that means. Where did you get that coin? It belonged to my brother. We found him face down in the water near here. At least we found him before the currents did. I searched his place and found it. Can't remember seeing it with him before. It wasn't the symbol of any captain I've seen. What will you do now? There's nothing for me here now. He was the only kin I had. I'm getting out. Maybe I can hitch a ride to Zahn, she says. Here. She shoves the coin into your hand. I can't stand to look at this anymore. This reminds me of when I found him. Oh. An arena coin? <laughs> Yo, can we go fight? Is that what's happening? We go in there, we beat some ass? Hmm, maybe? What happens if we show him the coin? Chances are her brother fought in the arena, got his ass kicked, and... Yeah. Show him the coin. This? Where'd you get this? I've never seen you here before. You just found this off some dead man, huh? Just who the hell are you? Declare yourself. You don't get out of my way, I'll be your wrecking. Sorry, friend, I was just curious. I'll be getting out of your way now. Allow me. Doorman looks at you intensely for a moment and then smiles lightly. Now there's a soul I can respect. You need that gruff if you're gonna survive out here. He waves you toward the door. This way. Thanks. Alright, let's see what's going on. It is a pit. Okay. What's going on here? Never seen you before. Well, welcome to our humble establishment. He motions toward the room behind him. I'd tell you to make yourself at home, but that'll probably get you killed. This place is an arena. It's how we entertain ourselves when the ships are in port, he says. And gives you a wide grin. Every now and then, someone will haul something in they really should throw back into the sea but they don't they bring it here a sailor goes in and stands toe to toe with whatever the catch was only one comes out either the sailor or the sea monster normally i wouldn't let just anyone enter you look like you can handle yourselves mostly interested in testing your metal anything special today i oh, got a special catch today a real handful of an angler that won't stay dead at least not for long. No butcher's blade is sharp enough, he laughs, terrified. It looks... It's enough to spook some of the boys around here. They're saying it's an avatar of the bearded lady or some such, he spits. Hogwash, if you ask me. But for their sake, would you mind doing the honors, priestess? Enter the arena. Who are we fighting? What the fuck is that? Oh, it's only level 16. Your defeat will be your greatest lesson. Oh, so you play as a different characters and then you just 1v1 them. Pretty cool. I mean, yeah, it's not exactly like a high level thing, so. Yeah, it's dead. I have fought the only way I know how with my fists. Good job, Alawi. I imagine the different characters uh, just have like different matchups to do. Looks like you're getting an extra reward today. So they found this half-digested idol in the creature's belly. Congratulations, you can keep that in addition to your prize. Hey! This must be the idol Kalia spoke of. You feel the presence of Nagakaburus within it. You must return it to the wishing well. You're welcome? Odd thing to get worked up over. Hey, awesome. What's today's catch? Vicious sea turtle. A bit of dingy in half. Alright, I'd like to enter the ring. Um. Let's just do it with a Lowie again. Entrance fee? Wait, I have to pay? Alright, alright. We'll pay the 100 gold. Just to beat this thing's brakes off. Let's go. Come on, Alawi. You're my ringer. Big old turtle? Not even worried. It's level 6. Okay. And boom. <laughs> Life is the sweetness of fruit. Joy of death. Cool. Yeah, that was uh Here's your money. Reinforced leather tunic. Okay. 
All right, let's see what else is going on around here. We can uh, probably just spam through those sometime. Seems like there might be some more to it. Yeah, we can become the arena champion at some point. I imagine becoming the arena champion is how we get the key to this thing. Um, yeah. All right, made some progress. Made some friends in Baron's Rest. Some side quests. Let's see. Still can't go through that door. That door is locked still. Map. All right. So can't really do very much about that. Let's uh, move on to finding that one blacksmith for misfortune. <sighs> Map, quest log, the idol, return it to the wishing well. That's the one where you drop it in. District map. Wait, what? Oh, wait. The drowned port. Okay. This is the wishing well, I guess. <clears throat> Interesting. Cycle quest. So both of those, you just end here. Okay. And then we still gotta find the token of purity. Okay. We did our thing. Now we gotta get to the get to the ship. Get to misfortunes. The, get to the charming lady. Sorry, I should. I should refer to the ship by name. That's the that's the way to do it. It is through this way. I know, I know. The watchtower. Oh, I forgot about that guy. Watchtower does there's a thing here. I believe I must go speak with the person with the thing. You there, you little yordle. Finn, there ye? There, your stature's too grand to be little Finny, the suspiciously drunk man says. Where be me manners? Name's Glass Eye Joe on account of me Glass Eye. Slaps his leg and cackles. Say, you wouldn't be passing through these parts to make a bit of coin, would ye? Coin is always good. Me crew is on shore leave, but we make a way to the sea again soon. Can't seem to track them down and get them ready to work. It's be the meeting spot and no one's turned up. Didn't want to leave me post in case any of them do wander back this way. Can you scout around and see what turns up for me? Yes. Praise be, you lads and laddies, he says, and smiles broadly. See, I like to make a game of things, and there'll be even more coin in it for ye. If you get the name of the crewmate and what I want you to bring them to bring to them correct on the first try. Want I want ye to bring them correct on the first try. Okay. I need you to track down Lin and bring him here this book. Then I need to uncover Slim's whereabouts and bring this package of rations. Aye. Lastly, I need you to ferret out Finn and hand him this diving gear. In case you got a bit of wax in the ear. Remember to get the, both the name and item right on your first try. There's some extra coin waiting for you, he says. Or my name ain't Glass-Eyed Joe. He guffaws and slaps his leg again. So, Lynn, book. Slim, rations. Finn, diving gear. Where'd you, how'd you get your glass eye? Remember that fateful evening, Claire's Day. There was a storm brewing in the east. And the winds would reach us soon. Easterly winds. The devil's tools, I tell you. An omen, some would call it. Aye, I was foolish to go fishing that eve. But me friend Jeremy was intent on catching his supper and wanted some company. We reached the docks and the easterly winds nearly blew off me hat. This was the first warning sign I ignored. <laughs> so we uh, set up our baiting rods. Just fine rods we had. Now the fish, they were biting... See, they felt easterly winds in the water and knew better. Sometimes tis the animals that know the world them best. Aye, 
Like how time flies. <laughs> Always who's going to die before any of us do. Continue. Oh my god. Jeremy sees there's no fish in the shallows in the harbor. So he gets to thinking I... He gets to brooding. He thinks to cast his line out further. He does, says I. So he pulls his line back, way back, and whips it around him like it's the winds from a tempest storm. Thing was, his hook went flying behind him. And the foolish me thought behind the ra fisherman was the safest place to be. I, the razor sharp hook, went flying straight towards me, he says. I know what you be thinking. Aye, you be thinking it. The hook had got old Joe's glass. Joe's eye. Nay, says I. Nay, tis wasn't the hook. Tis wasn't the hook. <laughs> I ducked the hook. Yes, I did. It went flying over old Joe's head. And I, yes, it did. That's when it happened. A seabird riding the easterly winds came out of nowhere and swooped down at me and plucked out my eye. Some damn easterly winds, I tell you. Tis was an omen. Anywho, I got myself fixed up. Got a new glass eye. Take the seat of me old one, there's no one to blame. The bird's just being a bird. Must have thought me was a sparkly thing and wanted to, it for its nest. And that, my friends, is the tale of old ha how Glass Eye Joe got his glass eye. Lovely. That was a great story. It's a story for the ages, for sure. Now you got your task. Don't be derelict on your duty right now, he says. We'll get right on it. Finn gets the diving gear. Lynn gets the... Lynn gets the other thing. Lynn gets the book. Lynn gets the book. Finn gets diving gear. Oh, they're they're all here. Okay. Lynn gets the book. Finn gets diving gear. Other guy gets other thing. Lynn gets book. Finn diving gear. Yes, yeah, him. Are you Lynn? You got the wrong yordle. Are you slim? Must be thinking of someone else. Are you Finn? Okay. That's me. I hope Hostimus has sent you. Say you got something for me? Yeah, he gets the diving gear. Finn gets diving gear. That's stuff diving gear. Oh, baby. Now I can really swim with the best of them. Head on over to Glass Eye Joe. Lovely. Lynn gets book. Slim gets rations because he is slim. Don't tell me you're slim. Are you Lynn? That ain't me. Are you slim? Yeah, that'd be me. You got something for me? Okay, I guess you get food rations. As the rations leave your hand, Slim stuffs them directly into his mouth and falls. Okay, head on over to your captain, okay? Jesus. Alright, wait, what's going on here? Did you hear about Arnett from Rat Town? Already got it real bad with the jagged hooks. Oh, you got to steer clear of that. Awesome. And then Lynn's down here. Lynn gets a book. All right. Get me down. Get me down. Fresh teeth. Fresh teeth from the slaughter docks. What are you doing selling teeth, man? Lynn's down this way? I haven't looted this? What is this? This leads into that, which has a thing? Okay. Are you Lynn? This is an old fisherman. Are you Lynn? That'd be me. Take you have something for me? Here's a book. Excellent. I was wondering where that book went. Uh, yep. Get on. Get on over to your captain. Lovely. Glad I could help. Yeah, we've looted everything else over here. Let's head on back to head on back to our boy. We made our loop. Head on back to good old Glass Eye Joe. Set him up with his crew. What a friendly guy we are. I see you haven't been derelict in your duty, and the slightest be crew is all returned with their items. He says. He hands you a sack of coins. As promised, now off with you. He says. Continue. Lovely. Happy to help, Glass-Eyed Joe. His breath reeks of something awful. He must have been drinking that one drink that I found. 
Um, the observation deck? No, we aren't going there. Right? No. Right? Where the hell are we going? It's not the observation deck. That won't get us out. Region map. I'm back to the Fortune Estate. Back to the Fortune Estate. Get to the boats. Get the heck out of Dodge. We got places to be. Wait, hold on. Fortune Estate doesn't have the have the docks, does it? It's literally just like her house. Well, I should have found the way to fast travel, shouldn't I? App. Baron's Rest ain't gonna get us what we want. Wait, what is this? Oh, the instrument! I can get him a freaking instrument from this guy! Maybe instrument guy is looking to sell his guitar. I don't know if I should buy it off of him. I kind of like his music. <gasps> That's the warehouse. I'm doing a quest. Hello. I'm looting. Hold the blossom jewel to it. Get fucked, Noxus. Nothing happens. All right, never mind. Golden dragons? Epic. Hold the blossom jewel to it. Nothing happens. Uh, of course. Alright, so this one has to be it. The blossom jewel reacts to the containers. Cargo has been neutralized. Alright, no more alchemical agents. Well, well, well. What have we got here? Oh, I heard some rats. You think you can come here and disrespect the salvage runners? Our employers won't take too kindly to you spoiling their cargo. We'll bring them your heads as an apology. Get them! Alright. What level are you? 23? Okay. I might actually have to worry about this. Um, Attackers will be barbed. I... I don't care. I think I can just smash these fools. Uh, let's get this guy out of the way. He, he big. I don't like him. Yasuo, slice him. Lowie, hit him. Yeah, I think Brom's going to be A-OK. -okay. Yeah, I don't like a, I don't like him doing AOE. That's kind of annoying. So, Braum is still healthy, healthy. Concuss him. Uh, this is the first bout of um, actual fighting that we've done in quite a while. So, forgive me if I'm doing it cringe. This dude's big dead. Braum. I need you to put a shield on everyone. Why not? Okay, that uh, just twice was enough to kill him. Oops. Uh, Alawi. Get, get the pad foot. Yeah, so destroy this guy. I don't. I don't want him in my face anymore. Yeet. One shot. Going in my one shot compilation. Uh. Okay, I almost just knocked him out there. This should kill him. It's too easy. This will make good story. Beautiful. 20 XP for everyone. Turn to Miram. Hey, we did it. Let's go. Now we can return to Baron's Rest if we want and complete that. 
This was surprisingly close. Take a quick sip. It's, you know, we did a lot of uh, story progression. It's a good time to do some side missions. Get them done. Help the people. That's what we're all about. Helping the people. Go ahead and hop up in this. See what's going on. Talk to Miram. He blends right in. Look at him. What a guy. The cargo has been neutralized. That is a relief. It's finally over then. He says and looks away slightly. His glance is skew. It looks like a tremendous relief has washed over him. Of course, you knew there'd be something for you. Please, take this as a gift. May you walk safely through the darkness, friends. Continue. A thousand gold! How can this be? The Empyrean is a myth. Legends of the Wind manifesting. Oh, the Empyrean! I know that card in Legends of Runeterra. Feels like the wind is holding itself. The wind is a fine teacher. As for still it, as it may seem, it remains in motion. A whisker? Through its whisker flows the elemental magics of the wind. It was born from the wind's own fury. Rom loves the wind. It whisks through my mustache and feels wonderful. Purian whisker. What's that? Is it a thing? Not an item. Is it like a thing that only Yasuo could use? Maybe not. I gotta go through my items and resituate. This is better. That's just, that's just plain better. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Better stamina, less attack power, better magical defense, better crit. Sure. Dekuto Cloak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that. This, better attack power, less will? What does will even do? But more stamina. Better attack power, better stamina. That's worth it. Solari Scimitar. Better crit, less attack power, less stamina, less defenses. Physically, more haste, more crit. Oh, God, that's tough. We'll just, go, we'll just keep what we got. I like what we got. Better attack power, less stamina. I don't really care about attack power on, on him. Oh, my God. I can make Braum just freaking smack, though. All right. We're looking pretty good. I don't really want to mess around with that too much until we start getting into stuff that uh, may cause me some issues. Uh, what do we what do we upgrade on her? We can upgrade pretty much everything. Uh, let's get another upgrade to this. Start the battle with three tentacles. That's huge. Brom, passive upgrade. Weakens enemies that hit Brom while casting, reducing attack power by 10%. Adds three stacks of concussion to attackers that hit Brom while casting. Okay. Yeah, so a passive upgrade. Removes the crit damage penalty. Yes. That's easy. When Strut is at max stacks, increase attack power. Generates 10 overcharge for entire team at the start of battle. That's huge. Means that we get to start off with our attacks. Begins combat and stealth. Uh, yes. And at the beginning of battle, upon consuming essence full, Ari will start with three stacks of essence theft. Yeah. That's huge. They're easy upgrades. Runes? Oh my gosh. There's so much that we can do. There's so much that we can adjust. Um, Alawi. I want more healing stuff. Can we get the tier fours? I heal by 25%. Attack increases. Um, Sacks three times. I actually kind of like where she's at. Let's just uh, remove this. Give her, make her hit harder. Why not? 
Brom. What am I to do with you? Let's give you more attack power. Why not? More attack power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, evade chance. Awesome. Crit chance while stealth. First action could be more of a crit. Increased crit chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, there is there is a lot to manage. As it, it becomes a little bit daunting to a degree. Mist infused orange. Uh, it can be sold to certain shady individuals for 20 black marks. 30 black marks. 12 black marks. Wait, who, who isn't buying my, my shit? Okay. More loot. Black marks. Maybe I gotta go back to that one guy and... Some all these black marks. What is this? What does it do? Use? Okay. I don't know what these are for or what they do. It's probably for like a uh, an enchantment or something like that. Or I guess it's a quest item. It's a quest item. Of course it is. What am I talking about? Right? Yeah. Anywho. Enchantment? I don't want to mess with all this. This is a whole other degree of just stuff. Journal. Browse rewards. We got a couple left. We got a couple left. We're at 1090? We got two left. Holy runes, Batman. Yes. Rom, go to this. Increase your haste. Yasuo. Hmm. 15 overcharge right off the bat? That's pretty good. Uh... Full 15%. That seems good. Two shards. Ooh. Both of these are awesome. Okay. Uh, yep. And yep. Why not? It's four, so we need one more. Easy clap. All right. Gosh. Okay. Went through a lot of stuff there, but goodness gracious, we'll progress the story at some point. I swear. We get to the next story beat. Mucking around Bilgewater once again. What can I say? Oh my gosh, I'm losing my voice for playing this. <clears throat> because there isn't like the voice acting, I do all the all the voice talking reading myself, and boy howdy. It gets to you. Ask you if he has any spare instruments he'd sell. Do I have any instruments to sell? Well, I'd hate to part with any of my collection, but the coins have been slow coming lately. <clears throat> I've got Lily, Sandra, and Bell. Well, that's what I named my instruments. Ignore me. Some have more character than others. Been through some wear and tear, though. If you ask me, that's what makes them more beautiful. I only have eyes for Bell. Bell, the most beautiful of the bunch. She can see through anyone's exterior and dive into their heart. You can only part with her for a high price. You sure that's your pick? 100%. Enjoy, friend. I love this guy. I love this character. 
<laughs> just, you know, random street bard. He's a cool guy. Region map? Where are we going? We need to get to the docks, Haba. No, we need to get to the docks, Haba, to get to the Chaman Lady. Map. Map. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Sorry. Sometimes I gotta, like, double check, triple check. Last thing I want to do is head the wrong direction. Map. There's a thing over here. Let's see what's going on. Docks hub. Also, this part of the map is very cool. I love it. Map. Further down. Further down. Further down. What? What's going on here? Oh, right. The, the thing. Give me the loot. This appears to be the supply container Renee described. It only exists in the spirit realm. Attempt to open the box. The box is locking mechanisms that are expertly designed and made out of petrocyte, making magical means of opening it useless. There's no way to open this box without the key. Take the box. Turn to Renee. Wait, if I'm in the spirit realm... Oh, I can't stay in the spirit realm. That is too bad. We need to go to the Warrens? No, we don't need to go to the Warrens. The Warrens is not going to lead me where I need to go. Warrens is the opposite way. Okay, back to the slums market. Wretched. <laughs> True. What's this? I've heard tales of Vestaya who live their entire <clears throat> lives in the water. I've seen them. Really? They have their songs, light and airy. Carry staves, move the water about. Nice enough. Talking about Nami. Talking about another delightful character. So I don't need to be going this way. But got another little story beat. Happy about that. A little uh, bit of uh, enjoying the voice acting. So little references here and there to other champions. Where the fuck is Nautilus? I swear to God, I need this champion in the game so bad. I need him. I need him. This is where he resides. How has nobody even talked about him? Actually, somebody may have talked about him. Just not a lot. I already got that thing. <clears throat> Talk to him again. Weird how it's still like that. Okay. Save me the time of walking. Oh, wait. Weird. Weird. Thought that I've looted everywhere. <clears throat> Take me to the harbor. I love the camera pan sometimes I hear. It can be nice, but also like if you're if you're like fully immersed in the game, it can also be kind of disorienting in a weird way. I know that sounds dumb, but like when you're adjusted to this isometric view and then all of a sudden shit starts rotating on you, I don't know. It messes with me, but maybe that's just me. Wait, God damn it! <laughs> I went the wrong way again. That's fine. We're heading this way. We're doing great. We know where we're going. We're having a fun time. We gotta swap out Alawi for Ari. She's party members. Because we haven't played very much with Ari. Never mind. Yes, I would like to go to the charming lady. Map. All aboard. Where are we go? Oh my. God, there's more fishing holes and a hunting hunting grounds. Fathom Pharos. We can head to the drowned port, and then I kind of in the next video want to finish up fishing holes, go to the hunting grounds, go to Fathom's Pharos, go to the spectral shores. I want to like I want to experience more stuff, but for now, let's get the next story beat and the episode. We got two quests to complete here. 
Oh, Necrid. I have questions for you. So, you return. And the Ruined King has been unleashed. He moves slowly toward Bilgewood, destroying all in his path. We have vowed to save the city. We have an amulet which can stop him, but he has already corrupted it and dulled its magic. There is a Buru Forge hidden somewhere on these isles. A place of power like that could purify the amulet. Ah, yes, the Buru Forge. If I recall, it is hidden deep inside a nearby vault. You will take a great interest in that vault, Ari. Me? The Vesani made use of this particular vault. You may find echoes of the ancestors you seek. In Vesani's footsteps. I will certainly try to follow them, scholar. We will be in your debt. It is I who will be in debt. I've longed for the day when champions gather to fight back the mist. Awesome. Enter the teleporter to enter the vault of the Vasani. But first. It is done. You brought everyone back. All of my friends, the Mistwalker beams. I cannot tell you how much it means to me. It's been a very long time since I've felt real kindness, but you don't want to hear me prattle on. The Mistwalker extends his hand. Here's re your reward. Take the gift. Lovely. Oh, I forgot. My name is Phileas. Nice to officially meet you, friend. Looks like some more Mistwalkers showing up. Guess you've been busy out there. Been alone out here for a long time. New company is always getting used to. But most of these lost souls aren't friendly. There's some real nasty ones out there. Someone should take care or they cause too much trouble. Would you consider hunting them down? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me, baby. I'm, I'm hunting them down like crazy. Guess things might be looking up after all. There are three extremely powerful mist walkers that have come crawling out of the dark. Is, oh, I assume that's for Pike to kill them. There's a troubling fellow close to here in the ruined port. Another has popped up in the graveyard near the grove. Then there's a final mist walker on the forest path near the shadow vault. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I can't. I can't walk away. Give me the last one. Thank you. Kill the mist walkers. All right. Easy enough. What? Hello. What is that? Don't tell me. Where did you get that? Where did you get that amulet? Shade points to the crimson amulet. The party used in Thresh's library. Explain yourselves. You escaped too, and you even beat Thresh? The shade stares in disbelief. It's almost impossible to believe. You've been to Thresh's library? The Mistwalker winces at the question. Well, I, I had been trapped there for a very long time. Thresh forced me to craft artifacts and tor torture implements for him. Why did the amulet bother you? That amulet is a marker of rank inside the library. The more empowered amulet, the more of the library you have access to. The shade explains. That's why at first I... Though you... It should be thought. This is a... This is a little spelling error right there. I though you... I though you... You were maybe... He shudders. This is, this is like one of very few spelling errors. Given how much text there is in this game, there could be a lot more. Wait, before you go, I think there's a way I could help you. The Mistwalker stammers. Back in the library, there's a room where Thresh crafts mystical artifacts. A room I used to work in. If you unlock your amulet, you could return there. Maybe you could create a powerful enough weapon to defeat Thresh's schemes. Alright, dude. There, it is done. The amulet is unleashed, as if it was Thresh's own. Now you can find his crucible. It's in the room next to Thresh's sanctum. Okay. In the top level of the library. Um, the Mistwalker hands the amulet back to you. Good luck. I hope this helps. He smiles weakly. Take the unlocked amulet. 
lovely stuff. You're going to be okay. He can't hurt you. You're going to be safe here. You're going to be safe, her. Safe and sound. Safe, safe and sound. Another, another misspelling. Another one. <laughs> Love that. Love that. Hold on. Can we do the upgrades? Did we finish any of these? No, we didn't, because she isn't lit up. Let's go kill this guy. It's an easy one to get done. Oh, I think I see his shadow. Are you him? No, oh, you're afraid of me. Wait. Are you... Wait, are you him? Yeah, you attacked me, so. Mr. Walker Phalanx. I won't hold back if you don't. Okay, these guys are pretty strong. That's fine. Not too worried about it, though. Uh. Why does it still say barbed fur attackers will be barbed? I don't even know, dude. All right. Sweeping blade. Hit like a hunter. Never get so. Brom looking pretty healthy. Alright, Ari. Need to really drop a heal on everyone. Everyone's kind of healthy now. Well, this dude is big dead? He has bleeds on him now, so I think we're fine. Alright, Brom. We'll do a big shield on everyone. Ari, you got plenty of points, so just hold still. Yeah, so you have you don't have flow yet. But you do have this. Which is also good. That's how we do it. Alright. All enemies, kill them. Click. Bam, bam, bam. Swift like vengeance. Swift like vengeance, baby. One of these is fast. One of these are really too fast. It's too bad. This dude's gonna die anyway. He do be taking damage. No more. Yep. Is that who we needed to kill? I think that was it. That auto saving? I don't know if that was it. Is that? Oh. Yeah, I think that might be it. Holy cow! It's too late for mercy. Oh shit! Never mind. Q. Aura of death deals a lot of damage each turn to everyone. Deals light damage over two hits and gains a stack of soul rip. Increases attack power for the remainder of the battle. Attack power of itself and all allies. Need to kill this thing quick. And this guy. Deals light damage, reduces all damage, power lane, break his guard, moderate damage. Okay, kill the Soul Reaper. Got it. Not a problem. Yasuo. Good old sweeping blade. Stay 
I think we got a good chance of beating this without problem. We we got levels and shit. We're 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 vibing. All right. A little weird how you said that. A little too breathy for my taste. Okay. Brom is still taunting. Let's just put a big shield on everyone. And just build up with her. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. And he's only got five, so slice. Prom get the shield on everyone. Love that. That'll help. Let's freaking mess him up, dude. Here you go, Tone. Is the AoE we've been looking for. Nice. Swift like vengeance. Swift like vengeance, baby. Yep, stun him. Easy. Is that the thing? Was that the one that we needed to kill? I cannot tell. I don't know. Those that seemed like a a strong enemy. Maybe it's this one. Maybe it's this ugly one that ran away from us. He looks insane. All right. Well, I think we just fuck him up. Not half bad. Hmm. Uh, Brom taunt, sure, and then just, I guess, just quick attack. Uh, I'm not even feeling like worrying about it. Yeah. Don't really need to work too hard on getting that all squared away. Was that the strong opponent? Oh. Yeah, that was it. The thing that ran away from me was the strong opponent I needed to kill. Got it. But that progressed Pike's quest, so that's good. Let's move on to the next area with the with the thing, with the teleporter. That's what we said we were gonna do. We'll end the video. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Vault of the Vasani. This is it. Can you get us in? I had better. Drom hopes this finally connects you with your people, Mari. I have waited this long. Why rush? <laughs> is there like a uh, torch or something? There is. Loot, loot. All right, we will do a quick rest. Yes, I would like to re watch a rest conversation. All these years, and this is the longest I've been away from home. I was just thinking the same. It's funny. I never really wondered what was across the sea. I assumed just more enemies. Do you think you'll return to Arena after all this is done? I thought that was what I wanted. To return home, live a normal life. Now I'm not sure. Truth is, I barely remember when Ionia still felt like home. I am sorry, Asuo. I think I understand. If anyone does, it's you. I've learned more about the world, about myself, in the last few days than I ever have in Ionia. And there's still so much to discover. So much I don't know. I guess we both had to leave to find ourselves. All this time, we've been looking in the wrong place. I'm glad we made the journey together. 
Lucky for us, you have questionable taste in bodyguards. That was cute. Fully recovered? Close enough. I have to admit, I was starting to worry about you. But after all that business on the island, you seem like a new man. <laughs> no such luck. I do feel different, though. I can't explain it, but facing my brother's shadow, it's healed some part of me. Sad thing is, I had stopped believing that was possible. Now you're giving me hope. Imagine it. My entire life since I was a child. Chasing the man who took everything from me. You think killing Gangplank will bring you peace? I don't even know anymore. But it's all I've got. We'll know soon enough. We're getting close, Sarah. And by your hand or mine, Gangplank will die. There you go again. Hmm? Giving me hope. I get the feeling Gangplank won't die at the end of this. Anywho, that's going to do it for this video. Two hours? We did it, baby. Another long one because I've been putting these out a little bit less frequently. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you like this content. Be sure to share this content with others if you so choose to do so. I'm going to go ahead and call it there. I'm going to bed. Thank you so much. What? Okay. That was weird. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.